Thank you for watching CTR TV. I'm Christy Olds with your five in five. Get up to speed on five topics in five minutes. Connecticut officially has a new governor. Do you, Edward Minor Lamont, solemnly swear? Ned Lamont took the oath of office on January 9th during a ceremony at the State Armory in Hartford. He thanked the voters for putting their faith in him and says it's time to get down to business. This is our chance to reinvent Connecticut. Think boldly, act boldly. That's what we mean to do for the next four years. The ceremony was just the start of the Inauguration Day events. The Connecticut National Guard presented a 19-gun salute outside the armory, followed by a parade to the state capitol. Later that night, CTR staff and members were among those who attended the inaugural ball at the Connecticut Convention Center. The 2019 legislative session also opened on January 9th. It was the start of a long session for lawmakers, ending on June 5th. They must approve the state budget for the next two years, but will also be focused on many other issues that impact our state. On top of the, uh, the crumbling foundation legislation that I'm usually working on, I know we have a couple of tweaks there uh, to deal with, so we can uh, definitely follow through with our commitment to helping the homeowners with the uh, impacted Crumbling Foundations, uh, hopefully also be focusing a lot on education. I obviously want to uh, make sure that we continue to help the housing market and uh, that we grow jobs in the economy and that helps, that helps everybody. If realtors have issues that they need addressed and issues that they're concerned about that are proposed that they think are bad, talk to me. Tell me what you think. I'm there. My door is open. Governor Ned Lamont addressed the joint session of the General Assembly, laying out some of his priorities. I'm going to be hyper-focused on job creation, and my primary objective is to get this economy moving again. CTR's legislative priorities for this session include eliminating the estate tax, options for student debt relief, and fighting any tax proposals detrimental to real estate. As the new legislative session gets underway, we have a reminder for all realtors to sign up for CTR's text alert system. You will only be notified when there's an important issue facing the real estate industry and when CTR may need you to take action. Text CTR to 52886 to start the registration. Homeowners looking for assistance in dealing with a crumbling concrete foundation can now apply to the state's captive insurance fund. The Connecticut Foundation Solutions Indemnity Company began accepting applications on January 10th. Homeowners can apply online, through email, or standard mail. They must provide documentation to support their claim. The indemnity company posted a video to help homeowners with the application process. The program is set up to help people who are seeking financial assistance to replace a failing foundation and to help people seeking reimbursement for a foundation that was already replaced. The guidelines and criteria are clearly defined. For complete information, go to crumblingfoundations.org. As the new year gets started, John Smaby is settling in as the new president of the National Association of Realtors. Smaby is from Minneapolis and served as president of the Minnesota Association in 2015. He says his focus as NAR president is all about the members embracing the theme, own your story. Together, we have a great story to tell. Smaby says it's about encouraging members to share stories about what the real estate industry means to clients and the community. He expects regulatory issues to be a big priority this year as Congress and the administration focus on housing finance reform. That is your 5 and 5. I'm Christy Olds for CTR-TV.